that reaper's office is so explosive because there are things that you were created to inherit daily. We find that out in David's Psalms, how there's a daily schedule of the Lord taking you into things that are beneficial. They are edifying. They are uplifting. They take you to the next degree in your living arrangements, your provision, your health. The reaper's office is where God brings health to your body, soundness to your mind, wealth to your money, and he brings peace to your soul. In the reaper's office, God is making your life whole. When the Lord makes your life whole, it means that he gives you everything that you was created to have and he causes it not to just come to you in one measure, but in an overflowing measure so that you'll have more than enough to enjoy it and also for other people to enjoy it too. That's a sign to enjoy it with you. You ever thought about how does God send out a prophet or an apostle to minister to a lot of people and to give impartations? Because they're, they're flowing with wealth of knowledge. They're flowing with the wealth of wisdom. They're flowing with the wealth of increase in their mindset, their intelligence. They have a genius flow. So now they have an overflow for themselves plus you. See, saints, how I operate in my uh, all is I build all by studying the word. I build all by meditating the word. You know, studying, studying is you getting the information. Meditating is you understanding the information. Impartation is you releasing the information. So when you study, you're collecting the information. When you meditate, you're digesting the information. When you are, are in that zone of giving it to others, now you are trusted as a transference of that information. In the spirit world, when you understand something, God makes you a custodian over it, a ruler over it, a steward over it, and he gives you the power to hand it to other people for them to walk in what you know. He gives you the grace to empower them, to lift them up. That's what he does. The Holy Spirit has several different things that he wants to deal with you concerning in this month of December that you never saw within yourself. I want to tell you this by the word of the Lord as you're watching me. There are several streams of God that you have not mastered yet in your belly that the spirit of God wants to manifest this in this month of December. So as we in this month of December there's several streams that the Holy Ghost want to release out of your belly of things that you are supposed to be a dominator over that information and disperse that information. When you step into the reaper's office, the power of God is moving through you for you to collect all that you have unlocked. A reaper is a graduated sower, a person that has kept on sowing and will continue to sow. And now God sees fit for you to see the fruit of your doings. In the reaper's office, the Lord wants to shine through you and for you so that you could understand the payoff of all of your diligence. In the reaper's office, God begins to explain to you why you went through that trial, why you went through that disconnection, why you went through that divorce, 
why you went through that isolation, why you went through that custody battle, why you went through that eviction, why you went through that lost car, why you went through that death in the family, why did you lose your biological parent? He starts showing you why things happen because it was to be the John the Baptist of the harvest that you're now receiving. It was preparing ye the way for the harvest that you're now receiving. Many people never get to the reaper's office. So they never comprehend how great and how good God truly is. They're on the surface level of a lot of things. When somebody steps into that zone of the reaper's office, you'll see the provisional power of Jesus not only flowing for you, but flowing through you. He'll use you to work provisional miracles yourself. You say, well, prophet, how would I work it? In the reaper's office, there is a confession mantle that you're entrusted with. Yeah, God will have you. See, you wasn't just created to confess your sins. You was created to confess your substance. If you live your whole life just confessing your sins all the time, that means that you're wasting your time with the devil. Think about it. You was created to confess your substance. You was created to confess your soundness. You was created to confess your sanity, your salvation, your surplus. You was created to confess the money cometh dimension of God over yourself. In the reaper's office, you receive wisdom to talk in the harvest. You receive knowledge of how to praise God and rejoice until your prison is shaken by the power of God and supernatural things start to happen. The church was praying in the book of Acts. Peter came out with two chains on him and the angel hit Peter and said, get up. We got to go. Imagine this angel was released because the saints had received the reaper's office. And, and, and saints, they reaped the harvest of their prayer. They was in the reaper's office. So now the reaper's office is they had wanted Peter to come forth. Peter comes forth and saints, I want you to catch this. Remember when Peter came forth, they still didn't believe that it was Peter. See, you got to recognize when God gets you into the reaper's office and things start happening that you ask God for, you can't wrestle with it and say that, no, nah, this is not the Lord. No, nah, no, nah, you, you, but you forgot, you prayed and said, Lord, let your will be done. And then somebody died. You said, Lord, let your will be done. And then you disconnected from somebody that you thought was going to be forever. You, you said, Lord, let your will be done. And then you end up in a situation where you transitioning from one place to the next. And you not recognizing that Peter showed up because you're in the reaper's office. You're reaping what you ask God for. In the reaper's office, you got to keep your discernment sharp. Because the Lord is in the mood to improve your environment. When you're in the reaper's office, the Lord is in the mood to make you feel good about yourself. When you're in the reaper's office, God is in the mood to impress you with your provisional results. When you're in the reaper's office, the Lord wants the healing to finally manifest in your body. The reaper's office is the set time, the due season, where the Lord now is ready to flex his muscle in the financial gym, in the mental gym, in the physical gym. He want to strengthen all the departments of your life and cause you to become an example for people to see because you have a soul winning dimension in the reaper's office that causes people that want to convert from Satan over to Jesus because of what Jesus is bringing in that reaper's office that you're in. Now they want to come over. Remember, they recognized that Peter then was with Jesus. They said, these men are not all that educated, but we know that they were Jesus. 
because they was in the reaper's office. Remember when Peter told that man, rise in the name of Jesus, that's the reaper's office. The reaper's office is harvests of dominion, harvests of the word of God manifesting, harvests of angelic ministry, harvests. You got angels all around you. When you're in the reaper's office, you could decree a thing and they'll be established. When you're in the reaper's office, you got to talk in your finances. Money cometh to me right now is not just a list of sentences. It is now the reaper's office being taken by you in its usage. You disperse in the power of God with your mouth. Remember, you get receive a confession mantle. Remember, you receive the oil of joy, the ability to rejoice. This is all in the reaper's office. You receive the patience. Patience is the inability to be affected by Satan's reports. Patience is the inability to be affected by Satan's reports. When you have the ability of patience, you have the inability of a troubled heart. You're no longer troubled in your heart. You're at peace. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding is guarding your heart and mind. In the reaper's office, you discover peace, which is wholeness, wellness, the completion of what God has designated for you to experience. In the reaper's office, you'll have a discernment of angels that's waiting for your mouth to speak up. In the reaper's office, you will have an ability so that you could abstain from anyone or anywhere that is adversarial to the harvest getting to you without any delays. In the reaper's office, you will have a desire to study the word. In the reaper's office, you will be fed up with immaturity, strife, jealousy, envy, lust. In the reaper's office, you will have peace with the way that God has chosen to guide your life. I'm talking about the reaper's office. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking about the reaper's office. When you're in the reaper's office, there's a power that you walk in to speak to mountains. In the reaper's office, there's faith to move mountains out of the 